There is a lot of action happening right now on the sun. Just like climate patterns on Earth, the sun goes through a cycle of activity. And it is ramping up right now, resulting in some pretty spectacular eruptions or solar flares. But as Brian Hackney explains, that could cause serious disruptions here on Earth. Getting pointed right at the sun with a little bit of focusing, voila. That's Professor Jeff Matthews. Close one eye, keep the other eye open, and take a look down. Oh my God. So what are you seeing? I think it would be, it's not the sun, is it? It, it is the sun, it right? Is? That, that, it is? That's the, oh. o- <laughs> that is the only thing bright enough to get through this filter, is the sun itself. Andrea Zabala isn't the only one excited about what's happening on the sun lately. Wow. Late in November, what's called an archipelago of sunspots rotated into view around the sun's northeastern limb and under the watchful eye of Stanford student Ethan Lopes. On the sun right now, we get to see these fairly dark spots and which are very large in magnitude, which means that they're like several Earths large for each little dot that we see. As the sun rotates, it's bringing these things to bear on us and then we hold our breath. (laughs) As the 11-year cycle of solar activity approaches its peak, the number of sunspots is increasing, so... As more activity is ramping up, we're seeing more of those solar flares and coronal mass ejections, but basically just big eruptions on the sun. That part isn't unusual. But this is one of the first times that we get to see so many dark spots that are close to each other and so large. In fact, just hours ago, massive prominences leapt from the sun carrying billions of tons of solar plasma. Last week, the sun spat this coronal mass ejection from its surface. When it hit Earth, it just produced amazing displays of northern lights. But if they're big enough, they can wreak havoc. Early this morning, six million people across Quebec woke up to darkness and disbelief. They don't know, but they suspect it may have something to do with solar flare. Quebec and part of the northeast United States had their power grid knocked offline. The last week, scientists have recorded some of the largest flares this century. This was bad enough, but the event that was the granddaddy of them all... The Carrington event? The Carrington event. The Carrington event. In 1859, this sunspot cluster fired a flare at Earth, literally burning up telegraph offices and pushing the northern lights down to South America. And that was 1859. That was 1859. Now we're much more dependent on a system of long wires, right? Our our power grid, where we have these wires stretching across the landscape. The disruptions to long distance energy transmission uh, would be epic. Sobering. How about, let's go with sobering. (laughs) That'll be my choice here. In the meantime, put your eye right up there. We just can't say exactly what we'll see. I see like some black, oh, I saw a plane. A, a plane passed right in front of it? Yes. Oh my goodness, such perfect timing. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> well, the Earth's atmosphere shields our bodies from the impacts of solar flares. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory spacecraft has been in space since 2010. It's keeping a close watch to help us better understand solar activity and prepare for powerful flares.